Hey guys, Jeremy Tay with Music Marketing TV, and today I want to show you guys a really quick tip that's going to really help out your workflow when using plugins like Patchworks or MB7 Mixer. Now, one thing that we do know is when you load a VST, you have to go through this big long section to really find the plugin that you want. And let's say I want a uh, FabFilter Pro Q2 stereo. And there we go. Now, after you find this, it's really cool because now you can just copy paste it and you can move it anywhere you want with the parameters. But it doesn't help when I need to instantiate something from a new start. So what we can do now is save this as Pro Q2 Stereo. And now we have this little section here that says select Pro Q2 Stereo. Let me find Pro Q2 Mono. And we'll save as Pro Q2 and I'll just change it to Mono. Now what this is going to do is this is basically going to allow you to have a favorites folder like how you do in most DAWs, like how in Studio One we have a favorites folder, a recents folder. This is basically going to allow you to have your own customized favorites folder so you can have the plugins that you use the most often, the effects, the VSTIs at your fingertips. And this works in both MB7 Mixer and Blue Cat Audio's Patchworks. That's it for today's quick tip. This is Jerry Mateo with Music Marketing TV, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.